it's big, it's bad, and I'm a basher now. <laughs> Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today we're taking a first look, run, and review of the new Traxxas Sledge 6S Truggy. And yes, this is not in the Scale Builders Guild wheelhouse, usually. But I've got a Haas, I've got the Max, and now I've got the Sledge. And if I could put the Sledge into sort of a category, I would say it's sort of uh, just between the Max and the X-Max, but with a slightly different intended purpose. And that purpose is to have fun. <laughs> I'm really, really excited about this. And yeah, you're, you're right. Scale doesn't really equate well to bashing, and there's nothing really scale about this truck, other than it's a truck-ish. The purpose of this really is for bashing, and stunt driving, and having some big jumps, and having some big air, and having some big fun. And this is uh, not anything at all like anything else Traxxas has released in the past. This is a completely new vehicle, except for maybe the shocks and the electronics. There is nothing that carries over from any previous Traxxas release. Nothing from the E-Revo, nothing from the X-Max, nothing from the Max, nothing from a Rustler, nothing from anything. Uh, it, it's pretty incredible. The amount of new material, new designs, new innovations that have gone into the Sledge. And if you can't tell already, I'm really, really, really excited about this one. <laughs> and maybe it's because I'm still sort of new to this genre of RC. But I can assure you, they have packed a lot of really amazing features into this truck. Let's just get right into it. This is a 6S vehicle, VXL 6S ESC, 2000 kV motor, and it's big. <laughs> it barely fits on the bench. It's not six scale big, but it's pretty big. And in fact, on the box, it does say one eighth scale. So let's just kind of go with that. Very large tires, 6.7 inch tall sledgehammer tires mounted on a very nice looking wheel. Tons of shock travel. Like there is a lot of shock travel going on there. And it's meant for getting some big air and doing some tricks. Backflips, probably. The body is all new the way the body connects to the chassis is all new. And I think that, you know, this is probably a good as time as any to go over that sort of feature right now. The way that Traxxas decided to mount this body is using the Traxxas clip system that was found first in the Traxxas TRX4 Bronco 2021 edition. Come hither, I say, right underneath the body there and uh, those two clips lift off and then the whole body pulls forward. The uh, inside of the body now has this large tongue. Rather than sliding it in and then clipping it down in the rear, you really just kind of slide this backwards and clip it in place. A much more robust way of mounting that body and there's a lot of plastic on the inside to help keep it nice and rigid and strong, as you can see, a full sort of interior cage to really help uh, this body last a bit longer after your first jump. This is an all new chassis. There is nothing carried over, like I said earlier. Uh, and it is pretty spectacular to look at. Um, there's a lot going on here and we probably need to get a better camera angle. So let's do that. Okay, there are a lot of things to talk about on this chassis. It's all new, so unfortunately I'm going to bore you with most of the details. <laughs> most interesting to me is this new T-bar setup. Rather than a tube, uh, or a cylinder if you will, this is in the shape of a T. I think this is going to provide a lot more rigidity this way. I think a lot of these chassis at this scale and at this speed and the amount of bashing this sort of thing is going to get, a lot of these chassis tend to bend or bow in the middle. This is going to really help that. Of course, other competitors have done the same sort of thing, but I think the T-bar is the more innovative part of this chassis. And uh, I'm pretty excited to see how that all works out. That is mated to some very large structural supports for this chassis. 
Uh, they're sort of a composite sort of plastic. In the rear, there are four mounting points for that one. In the front, there are two additional mounting points. Uh, very strong. Everything ties into these four and a half millimeter or so stamped aluminum shock towers. Very robust, very beefy. And um, certainly, I think, going to be a very strong truck in that regard. Uh, one of the other nice features, let's flip the truck over, is this entirely new stamped aluminum chassis. This chassis is stamped out of three, maybe even four millimeter uh, aluminum. These stamped areas uh, that are in the chassis, those are designed to help add some more rigidity to it. These skid pads can also be taken off and uh, replaced when they get uh, a certain amount of abuse. You can just pop those off rather than taking off the entire hinge pin sort of retaining system there. Lots of strength. One final note on this uh, aluminum chassis plate is that it is tapered around the edges and it ties in very nicely into these uh, plastic um, side skirts. And uh, those side skirts are there obviously to help keep some debris out of the chassis uh, while it's running. But I just like how smooth everything is and how well it's been engineered. It's really nice to see that. Uh, one other thing you'll notice, and I think you can see them here, the uh, lower arms, have these uh, flexible plastic, um, I guess you could call it like a sleeve system on there, and that's to help keep debris out of these, uh, these arms uh, to help prevent uh, any sort of uh, breakage or maybe the rock getting stuck in there that could lead to some other problems. Uh, just a lot of strength built into that. In addition to the plastic plates on the actual suspension arms, they've also added these sort of, I guess you'd call it like a mud flap or a rock flap over the rear uh, arms and drive shafts and that is done in an effort to keep debris out of there and keep those drive shafts spinning freely. Nice little attention to detail, something that I really like to see. You can see the center diff uh, gear there. It's like a 7 mil 32 pitch gear, uh, all steel and they look very very strong. I think that's sort of the overall theme of this new chassis is strength. It's almost like Traxxas doesn't want you to buy any replacement parts. <laughs> no matter what color you get uh, of body, these aluminum parts are all going to be blue. So keep that in mind. I think it probably looks best on the blue truck, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, okay, uh, 2000 kV brushless non-censored motor mated to the Traxxas VXL 6S system. Uh, you need two connectors there because it has two batteries. They recommend two 5,000 milliamp hour 3S LiPo packs, which fit very nicely in this redesigned battery tray. Uh, you put them in side by side there. Nice clipping in battery tray um, retaining system there. And Easter egg time, Traxxas also made sure that there are two holes here. You can put a body pin in those holes and then it makes it impossible or near impossible to get that battery tray lid to remove itself in such times as extreme bashing. They were like, maybe we don't want the batteries flying out of the truck anymore. Very cool, very cool system. The center differential has 20 million weight fluid in it. So it is a almost locked center diff, uh, which will definitely help deliver power to both ends of the truck. You won't see as much pancaking of the tires anymore uh, because of that. Uh, going out to each of the front and rear differentials, uh, the drive shafts have these nice plastic boots on them uh, to help keep debris out of there and to reduce your maintenance time every time you take the truck out. Very cool to see that. Sealed uh, waterproof uh, receiver box. You of course get a TQI radio with this whole system. Uh, one other thing you might notice uh, is that there aren't a lot of wires. They did a really good job of routing the wires underneath the battery tray uh, for the servo and there's only the three wires going to the motor and then everything else is hidden underneath the ESC. It's very nice clean look in there. 340 ounce inches of torque on that stock servo, which is a lot of torque for a stock servo for an RTR. I am impressed with that and I mean by the size of this vehicle, it's going to need it. Absolutely. I'm sure there, you could get more 
and you wouldn't be disappointed, but for a stock RTR servo, that's pretty good. All metal gears in that as well. Made it to that steering system with that metal servo arm. There are There is a nice metal aluminum rack there for the steering system. And you'll notice uh, one other thing here that's different from some of the other Traxxas vehicles is that these are plastic suspension and steering arms. And you might think that that's sort of a mistake, but I think Traxxas had the longevity in mind when they put these in. Rather than having a steel arm in there, which if they bend, they are bent, and it's very hard to get them back to whatever <laughs> state they're supposed to be in. These ones are designed to have a bit of flexibility built into them, so they should last longer. We will have to see. Uh, one other note, on the motor mount here, which is modular, so you can move it if you are going to change the pinion to go for those top speed runs. Uh, this is also an aluminum motor mount, which clamps the motor down very firmly, uh, locks it in place. There are also screw holes there if you wanted to add a fan to help cool the motor in higher temperature situations. I think that's sort of the chassis in general. Uh, everything, like I said before, is new. There's not a lot of repeat performances here. This is a new platform. There's nothing from anything except maybe the shocks and the electric system to carry over from any other Traxxas vehicle. And uh, that, to me, says that this is Traxxas's uh, answer for their platforms of the future. It's certainly a revolution for Traxxas, not an evolution. Enough yapping, let's get outside and see how this thing does in the real world. Hold on to your butts. This is how it's gonna be This is what you think of me It's going down like I told you This is how it's gonna be I'll be the last man standing here I'm not going anywhere It's going down like I told you I'll be the last man standing here begging for mercy oh I'm dangerous so dangerous I'm dangerous so dangerous mother up in here and I'm about to make it clear it's going down like I told you I'm the baddest mother up in here
In summary, after having a lot of time running this truck and having a lot of fun with it, I can say that it is big, it is bad, and it is very robust. It's built for bashing, and uh, Traxxas didn't really pull any punches on this one. That chassis is extremely rigid. Uh, all of the parts and uh, stuff that they've built into this truck, really strong, really high quality materials, and uh, built to last. I think that the uh, Traxxas Sledge is going to be the platform of choice uh, going forward. They spent a lot of time developing and testing this truck and pushing it to the limits to make sure that you, the customer, was going to have a really great experience right out of the box. There was a little more pancaking than I thought I was gonna see after knowing that there was 20 million weight oil in that center diff. But other than that, there wasn't really much to not like. Uh, if you're interested in one of these, there will be links down below. Are you into bashing? Is bashing your thing? By all means, put a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I love to read through all of that feedback and I try to answer as many of them as I can. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell, especially if you want to see more bashing content from the Scaled Bashers Guild. My thanks to Traxxas for sending this my way for an early uh, review. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much. We'll see you again soon.